Hello everyone. This is Tianxiang and Tommy. And this is the project I'm going to introduce in this video. Its name is IoT Smart Fridge. Well, first of all, as a refrigerator, we need to make things cool, right? And how can you do that? As you can see here, I am using a semiconductor cooling tube to transmit the heat outside of this container. And how do you control the power of this cooling tube? It's simple. The output voltage of this power supply can be controlled by a PWM signal. And as the minimum PWM signal voltage taken by this power supply is 5 volt. I'm using this high frequency MOSFET to increase the voltage. And the inner temperature of this container can be measured by the sensor inside it. Can you see that? So we can use PID control to make the temperature stable. Now let's do a small test about temperature control of the refrigerator. We can easily adjust the target temperature by toggling this label. And we can change the value of it by pressing the buttons. Now we decrease the target temperature to zero and toggle back. And let's see when will the real temperature decrease to zero. Let's skip the waiting time. Now as you can see, it takes around 9 minutes to turn the temperature from 20 degree down to 0. Can you see the eyes on the metal? This refrigerator not only cool things, but itself is pretty cool as well. And this is the first cool feature I'm going to introduce about it. If you keep the door open for more than 30 seconds, you will receive a warning. The buzzer will ring and the red LED will be switched on. and you can release the alarm by putting the door back. The second cool feature is that the brightness of LCD can be adjusted according to the environment. See the changes after I cover the photo resistance. Now I remove it. See it? Have you thought about the refrigerator that can take photos? Here it is. It can stream the image on LCD screen or take the photo and store it into SD card. When the blue LED is off, the photo is taken and stored successfully. Well, actually, there are many potential use cases. Imagine you are outside and shopping and you forgot what are inside your refrigerator. Then you can let the fridge take a photo and tell you. Well, about the quality, um, not too bad. As the name shows, it's an Internet of Things refrigerator. So let's talk about the networking part. When the system boots, it will connect to the Wi-Fi first. And now it connects to the Wi-Fi hotspot of my iPhone. 
After that, it will do SNTP, Simple Networking Time Protocol, with my cloud server for the time synchronization. Now you can see the time on the LCD screen is exactly the real time here. This refrigerator can also communicate with cloud server for transmitting data and receiving commands through TCP IP protocol. After it enters the server mode, it will try to connect to the cloud server. But wait, why it return back to the main page? That's because I haven't configured the server yet. Now let's config the server. You may search the IP address of my cloud server and you will find that it's actually located in Japan. So it's the real internet communication. After that, we trigger the refrigerator into the server mode. And now you can see the data sent from the refrigerator. The current temperature is A and the target temperature is 10. We can send a command such as turned off or turned on to the refrigerator. And now let's set the target temperature to zero. You can see the cooling module starts working again. Finally. Thank you so much for watching my video and cheers, have a good one.